Today we are going to do a review of Days of Blood and Starlight by Lainey Taylor. I'm Jessica. I'm Christina. And you're watching Game, Game of, of Tomes. Tomes. If you have not read Daughter of Smoke and Bone, don't watch this video. Um, as this book that we are about to tell you about, that we have just finished, is the second book in that series. Go check out our review for it. We'll link it below. Yes, we will. Okay, so I... I'm giving this book four stars. Yeah. But, like, you were talking about the point half... Explain your point half thing, because, like, you're kind of persuading me to that. To the... the okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I gave it 4.5 stars. Um, it took... It took me a little while to get into the book. Yeah. Uh, more so than the first book. The first book, I just felt in it uh, from the very beginning. Um, that was me. Was me that you? Too. Yes. Okay. I, like, devoured the first half of that. Yeah. First book. Yes. Um, and for me, I didn't get really into it, uh, until the second half. Um, and the surprise, I was like, there was a lot of surprises that yeah. happened, mm -hmm. and twists and turns, and it was so cool, and I felt myself getting super into it, and once I get that halfway mark, I just had to, um, straight up finish the book as soon as I could, because it was just so good. Right. Um, and so I gave it an extra point five for that reason. Yeah, there were, I was surprised yeah. by things that multiple happened. things that happened. And, uh -huh. oh, what? <laughs> what were you going to say? I, I was going to um, change direction, so if you'd like to proceed with what you were going to say, continue. Uh -huh. I don't think I was going anywhere else with that one. So. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Just go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, so the first book I read, um, I read Daughter, um, in book form, and this one I listened to on Audible. Mm -hmm. Yo, that narrator is fire. Yeah. Christine Vem. I don't know how to spell her or pronounce her last name. Havem. 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 Read it here. Vem. So. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, she her voices yeah. were so good. Um, she, I love it when a, a character has a different way of speaking for every character and you know who's talking um, before it says who's talking and different accents and just, it was super cool. Yeah, it was. I read this on my Kindle, but the last hour I listened to on audio and it was just weird because in my head when I'm, I'm reading it myself, I don't put accents to anyone. And then when she was doing the voice of like Zuzana, I was like, I was whoa, surprised too. but I mean like, duh, yeah, it makes, that makes sense. sense. Yeah. So, but yeah, she she did really, really good. I like that she doesn't give Carew an accent, um, uh, but yeah. she gave Brimstone an accent, which I was, hmm. yeah. I didn't listen to any Brimstone parts. Mm -hmm. Well, he's, um, you know, not alive. Right. But I think there was like a flashback or something. and mm. Or, yeah, like she would like quote him and then say oh, his yeah. voice. Hmm. And he had a, uh, what are they from? Prague accent. Yeah. Huh. Interesting. Yeah. I, I didn't think it... That doesn't really mesh. Je yeah, I didn't yeah. think it went. Because it's not like he ever lived in Prague. No. So no, not at all. It was weird. Yeah. That's the only... One strike. <laughs> Habam. 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 I really like her, though. Yeah, she was really good. So, I mean... We intend to continue on. Yes, we do. And our, There's only one book left, right? It's well, just a trilogy. And the, and the no, novella, which I looked up on Audible, and it was only like two and a half hours or something. Really? So it's short. Huh. We should read it. Yeah. I want I'd, to. I'd be down with that. Yeah. If you've read it, um, we've heard that it's really good, and we're just not sure which order, like if we should read it before the third book or not. Yeah. It's The Night of Cake and Puppets. Yeah. Puppets and... The Night of Cake and Puppets. Puppets and Cake? If you've read it, you obviously know what it is, so let us know. <laughs> well, you could put a picture. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, I recently saw Julie over at uh, Pages and Pens got the hardback of the novella. And it, it was illustrated, was wasn't it? Illustrated mm -hmm. on the on the covers. On yeah. The, like, on the front was um, Zuzana, and on the back was Mick, or vice versa. I don't remember exactly which order. And then I had a picture on the inside. and It was a very manga style, I think. Yeah, it, was, it looked really, really gorgeous, though, so. Mm -hmm. We give it our seal of approval. Yes. And we're excited to read book number three. 
If you have read this book, you should watch our discussion if you like. Yes, and if you haven't read this one, hopefully maybe we've persuaded you to continue on with the series. We think okay. it is hashtag worth it. Hashtag worth it. Come be our friends. Social media links in the description below. And we hope you're reading a great book. Bye. Bye.